Welcome to Creatively Exposed, and y'all, today is International Women's Day, March 8th. It is also my bestie's birthday, gang, 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 the person who keeps me sane. Um, And today is the book release, my book birthday of Soliloquy of an Ice Queen. And I wanted to be really lit today, but I was really lit yesterday. And most of this week, um, end of this week at least. And so I ain't got nothing left. I ain't got nothing (laughs) left. Oh, wow. Um, It's interesting because we also have this spring forward time change, which, wild. Uh, I'm exhausted. And... Yeah, this is all the, you know, big bang vibes that I got going on. There is also a Virgo full moon. So if you feel like doing all this extra stuff, um, chores, cleaning, purging, etc., that's the vibe um, probably for the next three days after tomorrow. And so I am jittery and tired and still feel like folding clothes which okay and um i am here in celebration of women and black and brown women in my life that have celebrated me uplifted me and It's so much. I am so grateful to have people like this. There are people who love me and support me. And I am just so, so grateful. Not only do I have you listeners, which I do see every single one of you taking your time to listen to some of my (laughs) passionate madness which I am so grateful for. I dropped the book trailer this week on Friday. And if you haven't checked it out, I really suggest that you do. I am biased, but I don't care. It is a bomb, dark, goth-type video. Um, And I'm just... I'm very blessed to have creatives in my life that have made it possible for me to be here yet another day as a creative myself and as a person. To have people that believe in you, even when you haven't or don't currently believe in yourself, is basically the universe saying, yo, I got you. And so we have to recognize these things whenever there's a moment to be like, hey, you know, there's people who really do care about me and help me care more about myself. So don't let anyone tell you that women don't support each other because it is a lie. I am a living testament of this. You know, my friends have, one created a promo for me and posted it everywhere. These little things that seem like little things, she took time to create a graphic, maybe copy and pasting, I don't know, but it's dope. And she didn't have to do it. And so she took time out of her day to celebrate me. If that is not love, I don't know what is. Um, I guess the show is a little bit of bragging about how my friends, my friends, just like Beyonce said, better than your friends. Um, my friend whose birthday is today said instead of sending me or buying me gifts, which <sighs> madness. 
buy my friend's book. Like, yo, that's wild. That is so wild to me. Um, and just sharing, these are the ways that you can support a creative in your life. You don't have to buy everything that they make, right? But you can just share your their thing with on your platform or tell a person about it or, you know, say, hey, I know a person that does this. That sometimes goes farther than just buying whatever they're selling just to support, you know, maybe somebody will hear about my book through another person or see it on their page and it will touch them. And that's really all I truly want, you know, besides hundreds of sales, but, you know, one thing at a time. So I think it's really checking in with all the things I want more of and not focusing on what I don't have enough of or what's not ready. I do have mishaps. Um, there are some mercury retrograde old things happening right now with the accessibility of the book and had to do cover changes to later find out, ask for help. Anybody, I mean, I don't care if you're creative or not. Um, if you haven't heard before, for me, a creative is anybody going through life and finding their way to get past survival mode. And so you never know who can assist you. Like I just was told like, yo, I could have helped you do this. And I'm just like, why did I think about asking? You know why? Because being who I am, a black Afro-Latina woman, Haitian woman, Virgo, twice woman, I always feel like I have to do everything myself. And that is to a detriment because I don't know everything. I can't excel at everything. I could have eliminated a lot of grief had I just had made that question. And I used to get in trouble as a kid um, when I didn't ask questions at school with my dad. I guess he noticed I was an introvert early on, and so I would get in trouble when I wouldn't ask questions, and to the point I almost got my behind whooped because I created, like, this whole story. I guess I was a storyteller from Jump, right? Um, you know, after I got tired of getting in trouble, I was like, yeah, man, I totally ask questions. And he was a teacher. So he was like, what kind of questions? And what was the answer? And I'm just like, um, and start filling in the blank until, you know, parent teacher impromptu conference. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah. Tough time, tough time. But I say that to connect to the thought of, I think this is what he was trying to teach me in his own way. Asking a question will always get you the answer that you need. Even if it's not the answer that you want, it might point you into the right direction. And that's in anything. That's in relationships. That's in um, getting help with, for example, my book cover that has given me grief. Um, it's just, we get farther together, you know, we can't always do everything ourselves, hold on to everything, try to control everything and still thrive. That's like putting a plant in a pot with great dirt, dirt is super fertile, whatever, but ain't no light. How is it going to go through photosynthesis if there is no sun? The seed is not going to grow further if it doesn't have all of its elements. <clears throat> and we're always missing something, you know, and it's not because we're, we're not good enough. It's just 
I don't know everything. I can't do everything. We all experience life ways and have different talents. Why? In order to complement one another. So ask questions. And sometimes it's really uncomfortable um, to ask questions. I don't enjoy asking questions. And now that's why I'm, you know, where I'm at. But when I do, even if it's not the answer that I wanted, I grow from that experience and I get more comfortable asking questions and opening dialogue. So this is a quickie. Definitely go to at SIQ book if you want to just peruse and see what my book is about. Check out my bomb, bomb book trailer um, by the incomparable at House Brian Ward. And, you know, I have like all of my credits. Who did my nails? Uh, who did my music? Villainous Beats. And I'm just in celebration and my heart is full. And now it's marketing time. So we're going to learn about how to hustle. And um, writer Twitter has put me on to some things. So I'm going to test them out first and see how that goes. And go from there. So thank you for listening. Next week, I have the, um, one of my favorite like meme astrologer content creators on Instagram. And I had the pleasure of having a really interesting conversation. She's an intimacy doula and she breaks it down and we just discuss some dope things. So stay tuned and let me see if I can put a snippet or something of my book trailer in here so you can at least get the, the vibes and the sounds and all that. So thank you again. Don't forget that you are magic. No te olvides que eres magia. Pablie use magic. Have a great week, guys, girls, folks.